And with that, we are up to our next speaker. Kathy Feig is uh, the business book strategist and works with professionals and thought leaders who want to write a book as a business development tool. She is an author of seven books, including On Your Mark, From First Word to First Draft in Six Weeks, and she's also is the editor and project lead in a series of anthologies, including her most recent, The Evolution of the Human Resource. Resources, sorry. Other fun facts about Kathy is her third grade teacher is Diane Sawyer's mother. Uh, <laughs> she went to church with Jennifer Lawrence's parents, and she has a vanity license plate that says Queen B. We're going to let you figure out what the B stands for. Please help me welcome Kathy to the Spark Stage. I am unwritten, can't read my mind. I'm undefined. I'm just beginning. Flashback to 2001. It was January, and I'd returned from a long vacation and I learned that my brother, Jack, had been missing for two weeks. Now, we learned that he had received a letter from the IRS saying that he owed back taxes. He had left us a note saying that he was sorry, but his car was in the driveway, the keys were on the table, he had not packed his bag or his toothbrush, and no one had seen or heard from him. We began an intensive search. We talked with the police. I talked with his neighbors, his customers, his friends. We scoured the neighborhood around his, um, around his where he lived. Um, we looked everywhere for Jack. We talked with the bank teller with whom he'd made a deposit the afternoon he went missing. Uh, we took around flyers with his picture on it. Uh, I hired an FBI agent, a former FBI agent. I went to a medium, but it didn't matter how many people I talked with. We never learned one clue about Jack's existence. Um, this experience caused me pain, pain that I was missing my little brother, my brother Jack, who loved the Rolling Stones, the Kentucky Derby, his dog Douglas, and all things automotive. This experience also caused me shame, shame that I was somehow culpable in all of this, that I was responsible for the fact that he felt unable to share this experience with anyone. But, you know, in spite of the shame and the pain, because I'm an extrovert, I felt the need to tell people about my story. And so I told the manicurist. I told the stranger sitting next to me on the airplane. And every time I told someone my story, something amazing happened. The manicurist told me about her cousin who had been missing. The woman on the plane told me that her uncle had been missing for years. After a presentation, a woman came up to me afterwards and shared that her brother was also missing after all these years. What had happened that as I told my story, as I shared that experience, not only did I feel comfort and peace in the sharing of that story, but what I found was that others connected with that story and they shared that community and received some comfort in the telling of that story. Now, my story does not have a happy ending. Five years later, almost to the day of Jack's disappearance, we received a call saying that they had found his remains. And the dental records confirmed that it was Jack. But my message to you is this. You have a story to tell. Your story can make a difference. My wish for you, tell your story.